Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Welcome everyone to this week's Bionic Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao, I'm your host, and I'm back again at the Waterford Golf Club here in Venice, Florida, where we're gonna be helping to improve your game with PGA Pro Jack McFall. Now let's get into this week's email, and this one comes in from Paul. And he says, Chaz, I want to know how far to bring the club back when you chip. I always hit too soft or too hard. I want to know how to improve this. Can you help? Well, yes, we are. Uh, Jack is gonna help you here in a few moments. And I want to thank you, Paul, for first of all, sending this email in and being a part of this podcast because it's people like you that make this into a podcast that is interactive, where we all share and we all receive uh, the ability to become, to, be, to become better golfers. So thank you very much. And just for you participating in this podcast, you get, yes, the free bonnet glove to uh, make your hand feel nice and strong when you're, and feel good when you're hugging the club. And actually, it, it, it just looks cool too. And that's, that, that's, even a, that's even a bonus. So you're going to get one of these sent to you. And if you'd like to participate in this podcast, just send an email, podcast at bonnetgloves.com. And if we use it, you get a glove as well, and you also get some great tips from some of the best PGA pros in the country. Now, how sweet is that? So let's go join Jack McFall on the course as we learn how to chip better. So here we go. Hey, Jack. Hi, Jess. Uh, you got another minute? I have another question for you from another viewer. Sure, always have time. Well, this one comes in from Paul, and Paul says, I want to know how far to bring the club back when you chip. I always hit too soft or too hard. I want to learn how I can improve that. Well, probably the easiest way to learn how to chip more consistently is to learn how far the ball, you're either going to carry it in the air or roll it on the ground. You know, depending on the shot you're trying to play, the more you loft the ball in the air, the less roll you're going to have if you have a high lofted, like a sand wedge or a pit or a a gap wedge that you're chipping with. If you have a, a much lower lofted club like 7 iron, 6 iron, the ball will hit the ground and roll a lot further. So it's important to understand where, how far you have to carry your chip, what you're, what you're chipping to, whether it's uphill, downhill, side hill. But back to probably the easiest way to understand it is you want your backswing to almost mirror your forward swing. So whatever distance you take the club back, is the same length you should try to go through. So the club is always gradually accelerating through the golf ball. So it's important to make understand if you take the club back too far, you already have in, your, in the back of your mind that you're gonna make too big a swing at the ball and it's going too far. You slow the club down and it actually sticks in the grass and it won't come out. So it's important to have a, a swing that always has some acceleration. So you're always trying to make sure that you spin the golf ball. Can you uh, show me how that's done? Sure. This one's a little more uphill, and I have a sand wedge in my hand, so I would have to carry the ball almost three quarters of the way to the hole. I probably would have a more lo lower lofted club, like a seven or eight iron to run this up here, but I have a sand wedge in my hand, so I'll go ahead and show you this. My swing is gonna be back. Try to get a feel for the distance I wanna carry the ball in the air. I find a spot on the putting surface where I want the ball to land, and then release and roll to, up to the hole. My goal is to try to get within a nice one or two foot circle so I have an easy putt. I try to stay up underneath the hole, not above the hole, so I have a tough putt coming back. So I'll try this for you. Make a swing, they give chip the ball up onto the green. That'll work today. Hope that helps, Paul. Thank you. 